We are getting the first reactions from other leaders around the city about these allegations against Comptroller Scott Stringer, a mayoral candidate, Diane Morales, just commented about it on the PIX11 Morning News. Here's what she had to say. It's a really unfortunate moment in this race. Um, no one on my team was happy when we heard the news. And, and as a survivor myself, who's got a FEM-led team, many of whom are also survivors, we've all been triggered and, and really have spent the time since hearing the news, checking in on each other. I, I, I think I'm still really processing. I, I, I'm not focused on, on Scott Stringer. I'm really focused on what this woman has to endure. And a former intern of the city comptroller and mayoral candidate is now accusing him of sexual misconduct during his run for public advocate in 2001. He got his start as a housing activist, fought in the trenches against domestic violence. As Scott Stringer unveiled his first campaign ad for mayor, a former intern unveiled news of her own. Through her attorney, she claims Stringer groped her, repeatedly touched her sexually without consent, made multiple sexual advances that were rejected, said not to tell anyone and offered her a role as district leader. In a statement about her client's accusations, attorney Patricia Pastor said in part, quote, it's unfortunately all too common that women report having been touched sexually without consent, and often men who engage this way are in a position of power and influence over the woman. Several assault survivors and advocates publicly support the former intern's claims and are pushing for legislation to define consent. Two of them recently spoke exclusively to PIX11 about the need to change the current law, which only defines what is not consensual and causes cases to fall through the cracks. And the end result is that we have laws that look like a Swiss cheese umbrella. Once we have the definition for consent, it'll act like a polyurethane coating uh, over that umbrella. If it's not written to law, how can he give the jury a universal definition of something that they can all of them fairly use and apply. Stringer responded to the allegations saying, quote, I firmly believe that all survivors of harassment have the right to come forward. I will reserve further comment until this person has had the opportunity to share their story. For now, let me say without equivocation, these allegations are untrue and do not reflect my interactions with anyone, including any woman or member of my staff. And Stringer's former intern and her attorney are holding a press conference here outside of City Hall at 11 a.m. For now, reporting live in Lower Manhattan, I'm Katie Corrado, PIX11 News.